Here's the thing, on my update video on the Mate 60 Pro Harmony OS version 40062, in the change log, there was only written camera improvements for photos in certain scenarios and security patches of February 2024. But what's not written there, that apparently you can run now Google services on it? Kind of. Let's check this out. Just to show you that I'm not lying, these are the changes that you see for version 4.0.0.162. So improve the quality of photos taken in certain scenarios and or situations and integrated security patches released February 2024. This is everything that is written here. But what you can do and what you will find is when you go into your Huawei app gallery, and I do this here quickly, you find something like Micro G services now on your Mate 60 Pro. Granted, you have to be in a Chinese app gallery to find it. And I'm using a private space here to go to this Chinese app gallery now. And you have find the Micro G services APK or the Micro G services and the Micro G companion. If you have both installed, what it allows you to do is when you uh, go into your uh, usual settings, and user and accounts to set up a Google account there. And this will synchronize with your Google account and allows you to yeah, do certain things like installing Google applications. You cannot granted use the Google Play Store, but you can install an alternative Google Play Store client like Aurora Store, which is an open source re-implementation of Google Play Store. And the F-Droid store you have to install for getting Aurora store. But this one looks like this. You can see it's pretty much like the Google Play Store, maybe without tons of ads. But you can download all the applications that are coming directly from Google's Play Store there because it's using the same API. This is why it's called a recreation of this one. And then you have apps like this one here, like, for example, the Google app. And I can just start the Google app, see all my... Very interesting articles here if I want to like buy the new Zenfone, no, the older Zenfone 9 for just 530 euros. Quite interesting. Huawei is seeding new Harmony OS beta to over two dozen devices. If I'm interested in this, I just click on this. You can see it's opening up in Harmony OS uh, browser because this is a native application. It is not like uh, using Gbox or something like this. It's running natively and using the Micro G services to get to your account. And this also works with YouTube, for example. So you can see YouTube is starting up here and I have my YouTube client there. You can see also on the bottom right, I'm logged in, by the way, very nice channel here if you are interested in cars. Sadly, only in Germany, but very, very nice channel. Doing lots of good stuff there. Shout out to them. And uh, I can go to my Google Drives here, have the possibility to access all my um, drive applications there, upload stuff as well. Um, the only thing that didn't does not work is Google Wallet. If I click on this, you will see that it will close or it will show you uh, when it starts nothing and if you try to add a new stuff it says it's not supported with the new android gms blah 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 add item not yet supported so this is like trying to access it via micro g and micro g doesn't support this yet so this is why google wallet is not working so yes you have certain limitations still so google wallet android auto will not work because they need to be installed on the system somehow but at least with the spoofing support, it's possible to let all those applications here, also Google Maps, by the way, if you want to have Google Maps running, Google Maps will also work, as you can see here, and I'm logged in with my user account natively, which is quite nice. And this, I think, should work and should give you access. eBay login, for example, is working with this as well. And certain other things will work with this. And this gives you access to your Google most of the Google apps and Google services that you need, except Wallet and Android Auto, which usually are for Chinese device you don't have anyway. But this is pretty, pretty cool already because like I would say more than 95%, maybe even 98% of stuff that you try to run on your Harmony OS equipped device will work then, um, especially Google stuff will work, which is quite nice. So it's a nice trick and 
glad that someone figured it out. They implemented already for the Emotion UI 13.1 update for the P60 Pro that sadly I don't have anymore. I hope they will also bring it with the new Emotion UI 14 to older devices. And I hope that this update for Harmony OS here on the Mate 60 Pro will also uh, um, will run out or will be delivered to other devices like the Mate 50 Pro, the P50 Pro, Mate 30 Pro even and maybe some other devices will get this update with the spoofing support and micro g support um, on board so you can run all your most of your google apps like over 95 percent of your google apps that natively on your uh, huawei devices of course google could like go in and say ah oh, you we discovered you're using micro g we are blocking your account or something like this but i think it's highly unlikely that they will do this right now if they will do it for me, I will definitely tell you about it. But it is, I don't think there's much of a risk because how would they detect that you are running micro G? It's micro G is just using the Google APIs, just like they re-implemented it. And I think it's not illegal to do this. Anyway, at least not in the EU. That's it for this short little video about the micro G or GMS Google Mobile Services natively running on Harmony OS now again and um, yeah thumbs up if you like it if you want to have these apks um, maybe i can find a way to give it to you because it's only available on the chinese store right now but yeah like i said you have to have this rom version because it's like a system kind of thing the spoofing needs to be enabled in the system so if you're inter interested in this you are running emotion UI, you're running harmony as in an older version or uh, not the mate 60 pro right now like the mate x5 for example something like this it will, will not work there. Currently, it's only working on the Mate 60 Pro and Emotion UI users on 13.1 on the P60 Pro. That's it for this short little video. If you're interested in how it runs on the Emotion UI, I think, I think System Hacks made a great video about it where they also demonstrated uh, to you in great detail how you can make it work there. Until the next time, bye.